One of the best ways to produce work when it comes to motion graphics, motion design, After Effects, whatever you're working on, is always gonna be the design itself. I'm really big on creating videos that will help you produce better work right here in After Effects, but one of the biggest things that will help you enhance your work is graphic design. Understanding design and how to put together these compositions are gonna help you produce awesome stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five graphic design techniques that you can implement into your motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. Be sure to follow me on Instagram for more free tutorials. That link is below. So these five design techniques will help you improve your portfolio, which will hopefully get you more clients or move your career forward in some way. So Let's jump into our tutorial and let's take a look at these five concepts. All right, as always, you can download our project files if you want to break these down and follow along. So in our first technique, I want to talk about layout symmetry, right? So we don't talk about this enough on the channel. So here we are in tutorial composition and we just have some titles in here and, you know, it's fine. But you want to think about the layout when working with titles, um, how this should work. So, for example, this is all centered aligned. You come here to the title saves action and we get this crosshair here. One thing I always take a look at is how to align this perfectly. Well, what we can do is come here to the line tab and just left align this and automatically this looks a lot better. But one thing you can do to talk about symmetry is to maybe move this over to one of the thirds here. And this will be a nice basis to lay out everything with more of a mathematical precision to it. And when you do that with your graphics, it's gonna make a huge difference in your work. And as you can see here, these titles are perfectly aligned, making it look nice. So think about that type of alignment when you're putting together a group of titles. Now, taking symmetry even further with our titles is integrating this with shapes. So what I do to integrate with the shapes, you know, we can create these little lines here and also use it as a point of animation. You always got to be thinking about that when you're talking about design and motion design is how you integrate the design with your animation. So we'll come here and grab the rectangle tool and I'll bring up our title saves as well. And what I want to do is maybe create a line from the left side here. So we'll do that to the center piece of our composition and I'll put this layer at the bottom. And then we can come here and maybe change our text layers to white. And now you're going to have a really cool, long, thin line that makes sense. And of course, make sure that you go to the line tab and make sure the, that these will be centered up. We can use this shape layer to animate on. So how can we do that? Well, very easily, you can come here and grab, say, the pan behind tool. You grab your anchor point and you just attach it to the you know side there. And then you come here to begin the timeline, hit S on keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it and move that keyframe forward in time maybe by a second and break the chain for scale and set that scale to zero percent the first property there and now you're going to have this animation to reveal on your title however you want to have the line animate your title on so what you can do to fix this is take your shape layer we can duplicate it bring it above our title layer toggle switch to the modes until you see the track map and set the title layer track map to alpha map so now you use a design concept to follow through with your animation and it makes sense you can even take this further with your title and you know, come here to the animate tab and add say a position and you can bring down the Y position below that box and you come here to the range selector one and you can add a keyframe for start, move forward in time and set that up to 100%. You can offset the layer in time as well. Then you can take these layers and duplicate them so you can add on more titles. So we'll come here, grab the titles, go to edit, duplicate, you can bring it up. And by adding more titles, I just gotta make sure that everything is lined perfectly and it makes a huge difference in your overall design of how that looks. And one thing I suggest doing, since you have this ready to go, you can just select your layers and offset them in time, you know, like a creating a quick staircase animation. So they come in one after another. And this is how you can think about, once again, furthering your ideas of design uh, in motion graphics. So look at that, very nice, comes in one after another, and it's very symmetrical. Uh, and you have great shapes with your titles. And because we have to pay the bills and there's so many different ways to do graphic design, I want to give a huge shout out to our 1400 plus motion graphics professionals pack right here for After Effects. So this is our 1400 motion graphics professionals packs where we have a handful of title templates that we can preview, really awesome motion graphics, you know, creative effects, animated transitions. But one thing I want to take a look at is our promo category. So if you want to build a promo, all you have to do is hover over what you want and click on apply. And we go into that composition and we can bring in, say, our background footage to the bottom of our composition and quickly change out our titles. 
And now we have a full animation here and we can continue to build out our promo with other templates inside of our pack where we have over 600 promos in this pack specifically and a handful of other amazing elements and titles within our motion graphics professionals pack that can be added to any after effects composition you can also download a free version of our packs to get an idea of how this works in our atom x extension and you can easily switch over to other packs that we have off our website and you have more templates to your library. So if you're looking to save time, produce awesome work, and have access to all the templates you need for any After Effects project you're working on, you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. So our third technique is definitely something to be set in the mind. Not so much techniques here in After Effects, but it's simply color contrast. So we don't have any colors in this composition, but everything is easy to look at because we're using black and white. So you want to think about how you can make your titles or graphics stand out among the background and other objects in your scene. So you can see here, there's good color contrast here because we have a dark title and a very smooth gradient. And that's really what you want to accomplish with your colors. You don't want to do anything flashy and bright that looks disgusting. You know, you want to think about easy colors to use. So just by using colors that are opposite of each other in a way like orange and teal, uh, or in this case, black and white, you're gonna create some really cool color contrast that we've been doing subconsciously through this tutorial. So just be keeping that in mind when working on your graphics. So obviously we just have a simple title concept here, but I wanna talk about putting together a full composition using graphic design elements. So we're gonna talk about the background and two easy techniques. So first of all, let's talk about creating an animated background We're using lines. So to create that, you come here and grab the pen tool, click on the word fill, and you can set it to none, click OK. Click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click OK. And I can come here and change my color to whatever color I want. I can do something like black, for example. I'm gonna come here and click a point here at the bottom left of the composition. And I'm gonna bring up my lower thirds, or my title saves, and I'm gonna come here to the center and click a point there and then go to the other bottom corner here. So then with the shape layer, I can bring it underneath everything and we'll open up shape layer one, come here to add and add a quick repeater. I'll come here to repeater one, open that up, go to transform repeater one, and I'll come here and set the X position to zero and the Y position down a little bit so, what, so there's some gaps. All right, awesome. Then I'll create the number of copies by a lot and I'll come here to offset and I'll bring this layer up. And then we'll just simply hit P on keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe for that. And we'll move forward to the end of our composition or animation and we'll just have this uh, you know, slide upward. As an example, this is really bad color contrast. So really what we should do is quickly create another solid here and we'll make this layer black as well, bring it to the bottom and we'll change our lines to white. So boom, that will really stand out. And that is much better color contrast in our scene. We can come here and maybe bring down the stroke width so you can see a little bit more you know, blackness in there. And I think that's totally fine. So this is looking really good. However, I do want to take the color contrast to the next level um, and help pop this out because color contrast is a huge role in graphic design. Uh, obviously the layout, uh, the fonts you use, uh, and the colors are the most important thing. So to make this pop even more, we want to kind of separate that black background there, but still hold the idea of using a black and white theme. So we'll come into the black solid, the background we have here, and come to effect, generate, and we'll grab a gradient ramp. And, and automatically that is a really cool look, and there's so much you can do with gradient ramps. Uh, but I'm going to come here and set this to a radial ramp, and I'll come here and bring down the anchor point of this effect to the center of our composition. Uh, and we come here to the end color, and we can do like a very dark, you know, or light gray color here. And we're still going to hold that black and white theme, but it doesn't clash as much with the black box here. So the way to think about uh, creating some variations in your color, but also holding the same theme is a big part of graphic design and motion graphics. And when it's all said and done by following these techniques, you could put together a really cool and quick composition uh, that looks really good. It stands out and it has some great graphic design concepts. There are so many different ways to approach design and so many concepts out there. So I challenge you when watching our future videos to break down the graph design in the motion graphics so you can look at all these concepts and how they go together. Um, but if you wanna learn more from our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.